Hello everybody, tonight we'll make a special dish. When I was working in Italy, I was working with Tuscany people. And the Tuscany people, we was making rabbits a la pizza, a la cacciatora. And what we was do day before, for 24 hours, we was cut the rabbit like this, and we put red wine, garlic, onion, a rosemary for 24 hours. Now what I gotta do with this, I got over here the strain, I take the rabbit and we put it right over here like this. With the liver, take the juice out. And this, I keep over here on the side. What I do, I do like this, to make sure it dry the wine a little bit. Now this is the parts I gotta use for the rabbit. I got the oil over here. Yeah, I put oil. And we put on the fire. I wanted the oil to be nice hot. When I put the rabbits, I wanted to come a nice color red. We put the flame on. Now the use for the cacciatora, I got plum tomato, and I squeeze already the plum tomato. I got to use my Oye Baby, and I use black owls, and I put in a sauce. Now the time I got to fry the rabbit, when I put over there, on the side with the sauce I make, I want to make polenta, the polenta corn flour. This is one pound flour and I use like two cups water. Two and a half or three cups of water I use for this flour. And when I put the water for the polenta, you gotta put a little salt and I use a little oil. Like this the flour, you know, stick together, become nice. Okay, now the oil is a nice hot and we start to put the rabbit We make a nice color before I dump everything inside over here, the garlic. I put in the garlic and now to make a nice taste for the rabbit. But after I got more garlic to put over here. Look how nice uh, little from the leg is it to this. Look how beautiful. The garlic, onion, my Oye baby and the rosemary and we put all together over here but still I got the wine I wait for the wine before I put inside okay now this part I gotta do the polenta and I want to put the water but you see everybody wanna know how many water how many cups well this is like three cups water Put it right over here. And one thing, instead so the water, it's too much water. Put a little bit more flour. And you make the polenta like you want. You don't gotta measure. Put a water, put a flour, turn when it's nice, like I show the heft, everything will be okay. But the water, I like use the oil. And you use the salt. Everybody ask how many salt? 
I don't know, it's this the salt. It's good for me. It's what I use at my measure. Okay, now everybody see the rabbits, it's nice and now everything look good. If this is the wine that I was put yesterday together with a rabbit, and we put it right over here like this. Now I cook with the wine about maybe six or seven more minutes. After the six or seven minutes, I gotta put the plum tomato for the rabbit. Now let's dry a little bit of this wine first. And this rabbit. When you eat it's so good, you don't need no fork or knife. You pick it up like this, like chicken legs. It's so delicious. When I was in Italy, you know the little birds, I was a cook with a polenta in Italy, in Torino. The, the fasan, the quaglie. The, what do you call a quaglie in English? Uh, I don't know. I call it quaglie. Quer, quer, Okay. Squirrel. No, 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 like. no, I like a rabbit, rabbit. If the wine, the rabbit, you do, I do the same way with the wine, and you live a stay one day with the wine. Mm, so good to this. And when, when I do the polenta, with the polenta, the rabbit, you take a piece of rabbit, you put on a dish, a piece of polenta on the side, in the gravy, right on top of the polenta. And you eat rabbit, polenta, a nice glass red wine. It's the best. After one glass, maybe you go another glass, another glass, and you go maybe two, three, four glasses of wine on the rabbit. Okay, now, the wine, look, it's nice now. You see? It's good. Now, we done the plum to make like I say I was washing my hands but everybody when you do you can do with a fresh tomato but before you put it with the fresh tomato make sure to take the skin out the take the skin out you put in the hot water take the skin out chop and you do the uh, cacciatore now this it's the canned what I did everybody can do the same you squeeze with your hands like this, or you can go with a knife. But this, now, you go right over here like this. And look now, now we give a nice turn. Oh, that's it. Watch, all right, I do the polenta. Now you see, you put a little bit on a time. And you turn. That's what you gotta do, a little bit. Slow and easy. Now you see, that's what you gotta be the polenta. Now you gotta cook it for 10 minutes. And you gotta be like this, you see? You cook more, it come more thick. And now we put the black house inside. And you cook it together with the rabbit. Okay, now the polenta is ready. And what I want to do, I want to put it in the oven. And I want to put on this pot so you put a little drop of the oil on the bottom. And you put the polenta. Like over here. Yeah, I'll stick in the oven to make a nice color on the top. But 20 minutes the polenta be ready. Okay, the polenta can put in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, after we take it out, got the rabbit, it's almost ready. All right, let's check the rabbit. The rabbit's ready. Boil. Good. Okay, now the polenta. It's ready. And we take it right over here. 
Okay, look, a nice boiler. Thank you, everybody, the watch. Now, let me test my rabbit cacciatore. Rabbit's cacciatore. The polenta is really good. And the rabbit look nice. You put a little gravy on the top, like this. Mmm. Little bite that my Oye baby. Mmm. <clears throat> I don't want to miss my red wine. My red glass wine I need all the time. Salute everybody, Chin Chin. And thank you very much. I hope this year finish. Oh, everybody give them a nice subscribe. Everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. And happy new year.